A firm's profit is going to depend on the relationship between the price and its average total cost. So a competitive firm is taking the market price as given and they're going to compare this to their average total cost at the profit maximizing level of output. So in other words, we find where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal. At that quantity, we compare price and average total cost. Here's one example. So I've got a general marginal cost curve and then my average total and average variable cost as well and then the firm's marginal revenue and demand curve. Well I find the level of output where MR equals MC. I'm going to label that Q star. Now at Q star I find ATC and I go over to the, or to the vertical axis. That's my ATC and since price is greater than ATC that becomes my profits. Another way of expressing profit is P minus ATC times Q. And if that's greater than zero, we are earning a positive profit. Here's another case. First we find marginal revenue and marginal cost where they're equal. We call that Q star. At Q star we go up to the ATC and over. In this case there's no profit area to illustrate because profits are equal to zero. Price and ATC are the same. So P minus ATC times Q will give us zero. This firm is breaking even or they're earning normal economic profits. Our third case, we find marginal revenue and marginal cost where they're equal. Then at Q star, we go up until we hit the ATC and over. And in this case, the average total cost exceeds the price. So this will be illustrating our loss. Now notice we're still above the average variable cost, so this firm should be producing. Right, so P minus ATC times Q, if that's less than zero, we have negative profits or we have a loss. So as a recap, for competitive firms, they take the market price as given. That price, we come over and draw a horizontal line, it becomes marginal revenue, demand, and average revenue. The firm's going to produce the level of output where marginal revenue and marginal cost are equal. And then double check when you find that quantity that at that quantity price exceeds AVC. The final thing you'll do is compare the price to the ATC at that quantity to see if you've got profits or losses or you could be breaking even.